Thank you, Adrian. This presentation is on the game-changing real-time analysis provided by the detector method for generative exploration and the implementation of the method during RC drilling at the Tolma Prospect of the Tarkula project. Barton Gold is a South Australian gold-focused exploration company with projects in the central Gawler region of SA. Barton had been progressively building its resource base through generative and advanced exploration and are working towards advancing project studies on its portfolio of defined mineral resources. I'd like to acknowledge the team at Portable PPB who have had an ongoing and collaborative engagement with Barton Gold during this test work. And I'd also like to acknowledge the Department for Energy and Mining as Barton's R&D work has been financially assisted through the Accelerated Discovery Initiative program. This presentation focuses on the practical implementation of the detector analytical workflow for Barton Gold's drill programs in 2024. Detector is a process to provide PPB level detection of gold in field using portable XRF analysis. The key outcomes of this presentation are that detector is an effective and time-saving tool for preliminary analysis and screening of gold results, which allowed for an agile and adaptive exploration program at Barton's Tarkula project this year. This directly led to more significant intercepts and better spatial coverage of new mineralization discovered at the, the Tolma prospect. The detector method was commercialized by CSIRO in 2016, developed by CSIRO in 2016, and Portable PPB was incorporated to commercialize the method. Industry partnership began in 2018 with the first field trials in 2019. Field trials continued through 2020 and 2021 with the global commercial release of detector in 2022. Significant improvements in efficiency and detection limits have been made to date and the portable PPB team are continuing to develop and improve the technology. Barton's engagement with portable PPB began in 2022 with a study of the efficacy of different analyses for soil samples across Tarkula. A larger trial soil sampling survey was completed last year at Tunkilia and a map of the detector results for that program are shown here. These studies highlighted some of the strengths and weaknesses of the method, particularly the deep weathering profile and large amount of transported cover sediments make for a challenging soil sampling environment with a lower level of gold in soil than can currently be reliably analysed by detector. In the second half of 2023, Barton undertook trial studies using detector on RC drilling samples, first on pulverised lab residues and then on field RC samples. The results of detector analysis were compared with wet assays and these gave good rationale for full field implementation. Following last year's conceptual testing, this year detector has been used by Barton in drilling programs at Tarkula and I'd just like to talk through our work workflow. During drilling, one metre samples and three metre composite samples are taken for all intervals using the duplicate chute on the cone splitter. The composite samples are sieved to less than one millimetre and taken to the on-site field laboratory daily. This both homogenises the composites and removes coarse chips that wouldn't be suitable for leaching. If sieving at the rig isn't feasible or samples are wet, the composites can be sieved later at the lab. Measured quantities of sample and lixiviant are added to the processing pouch and a collector device with a QR code is inserted into the pouch. Each sample is allocated a QR code at the start of the lab workflow which tracks the progress and attributes the final data to the original sample number. Samples are rolled overnight for 12 hours. Six hours can be used, but Barton found 12 gives a more consistent leach for this sample type. If only a small number of samples are being processed, there's also a miniature version of the setup. After leaching, the collector device is extracted and dried for around four hours in a dehydrator and is then ready for analysis. QC samples with blue tabs are included in each batch. These included both CRMs and blanks. And because the QR codes are already attributed in the PLIMS software, no manual recording of collected devices is needed and they don't have to be in order for analysis because each QR code is scanned before the reading is taken by the PXRF. 
As well as being used for expanding the drilling program, the detector results were used to screen anomalous intervals for fire assay, reducing the wet assay costs for the program significantly. In total, it typically takes less than 48 hours between samples coming out of the ground to the reporting of preliminary gold results, and we can use these results to adjust and expand the drilling program on the fly, which was well suited to the shallow RC drilling on new target areas at Tarkula this year. Now we'll focus on the geology of the Toma Prospect and the way that Detector was implemented by Barton this year. The Tarkula project is located in the Wujina domain of the central Gawler Craton. Geographically, Tarkula is at the intersection of the east-west Trans-Australian Rail and the north-south Adelaide-Darwin Rail, around 750 kilometres northwest of Adelaide. The Wujina domain includes rocks of the Archean Mulgathen complex, Paleoproterozoic intrusions, Hilterbridge granite intrusions, and the sediments of the Tarkula formation, to name a few. Regional scale shear zones deform the central and western Gawla Craton and host significant gold mineralisation, with the Yalbrinda shear zone hosting Barton's Tunkilia project and the Lake Labyrinth shear zone hosting Indiana Resources' Minos prospect. The Tolma prospect is approximately 15 kilometres west of Tarkula, shown here as the Green Star. The oldest unit in the western portion of the Tarkula project is the Paxton Granite, which is non-conformably overlain by the Tarkula Formation. The Tarkula Formation is subdivided into three members, the Peeler Conglomerate, Fabian Quartzite, and Sullivan Shale. The Toma Prospect is within a, is within a th package of thrust stack and faulted quartzite and shale of the Tarkula Formation, close to the contact with the Paxton Granite. Tom was highlighted as a target area of interest by Barton's 2023 seismic program with a similar structural setting to the Perseverance Mine and a historical surface golding calcrete anomaly. This year's RC drilling at Tolma was part of the conceptual test drilling for this wider structural model. Let's take a closer look now at how Detector was implemented and leveraged at the Tolma prospect for the recent drilling. This was the status of Tolma before this year's drilling campaign. Different sets of faults interpreted from last year's seismic survey are shown in green, blue and purple. The green and blue faults have different orientations with the green fault dipping to the northwest and the blue fault interpreted to be subvertical, similar to at Perseverance. Historical surface calcrete contours are 50 ppb in yellow and 100 ppb in red. Historical drilling across the eastern calcrete anomalies intercept, intercepted spotty low-grade mineralisation while the lines oriented northwest, southeast are rab holes that were less than 10 metres deep. Barton targeted RC drill lines across the interpreted structures from the seismic and across the local peaks of the surface gold anomaly. Detector analysis of this first round of drilling identified significant gold mineralisation in several drill holes. And because we had this information while the drilling was ongoing, we were able to expand the drill program and target this newly identified mineralisation. These additional drill holes intercepted some of the best intercepts for the program and gave more spatial coverage to validate the orientation of structures. Subsequently, we've recently completed an air core drilling program at Tolma and again we utilise the detector workflow for preliminary analysis to adjust, adjust that program on the fly and add infill drill holes. Final wet assay results for that program are still pending so I won't say any more about that. RC drilling at Tolma intercepted significant gold mineralisation, with the highest grade intercept being 4 metres at 24.6 grams per tonne, including 1 metre at 83.6 grams per tonne. The additional drill holes made possible by using detector on this program, and highlighted here in yellow, included five of the best seven intercepts for the program and the three widest intercepts of continuous mineralisation. But clearly, there are significant benefits to using Detector, but nothing's free, and there are, of course, some costs and limitations. The biggest benefits, as highlighted earlier, are the time saving and the opportunity to adapt to results on a lead time of days, not weeks. The detection limit for the method is also low, as low as 5 ppb, depending on the sample size, and portable ppb are working to bring this to an even lower detection limit. The cost savings can be significant if used to screen samples and reduce wet assay costs. Iterative, iterative drilling without the need to remobilize can also be a very significant cost saving. K 
Capital expenditure up front includes the purchase of specialised lab equipment, a portable XRF unit, and optionally, a rockbot. And there's ongoing expenditure in the form of consumables, which are $15 per sample, and field staff to operate the method. During our programs this year, we found it took approximately 1.5 staff dedicated to the detector processing and analysis to keep up with the lab workflow, not counting personnel at the drill rig. This was without using a rockbot, which Barton has since purchased, and which will streamline the lab workflow to only need one person. Barton's rockbot is here today, set up at the portable PPB booth, so have a chat with Sylvie and Campbell if you're interested. Implementation of Detector is not overly complex, but does require operators trained in both the workflow and radiation safety, and there are limitations of the method, particularly in the case of poor quality samples with contamination, wet sample return, or samples with less than 250 grams of fine material. As this is a leach method, understanding the mineral context and conducting test work to determine the appropriate sample prep and leach times is needed for different mineral systems. Sample quality is the biggest limitation on the reliability of analysis, which is the case with any analysis method, but is exacerbated in the case of a leach on relatively coarse material. And as this is still a new and developing workflow, Barton has used the detector results as a preliminary first pass, comparable to PXRF data for base metals exploration. Gold by fire assay were completed for all in intervals identified as anomalous, with all reported gold intercepts being from the final fire assays. Additional intervals were identified as being of interest from geological logging and PXRF multi-element analysis, and these were submitted for fire assay as an additional check, but they didn't show that any significant gold mineralization had been missed by detector. Detector implementation at Tolma was highly successful. Because of the real-time gold results, the drill program was able to be expanded with additional targeted drill holes. This allowed for better spatial coverage of mineralized structures and wider intercepts of mineralization to be intersected. The best example of this is in the two sections here, where the top section was the initially planned test drilling and the bottom section was added parallel 100 meters to the north based on the detector results from the first section. The new zones of mineralization identified at Tolma are interpreted to be high grade quartz sulfide veins with both north-northeast and north-northwest orientations. Screening of samples resulted in a 63% reduction in wet assay costs for Tolma and a 75% reduction in wet assay costs for the entire drill program, which encompassed multiple prospect areas. For this drilling program, Detector proved to be an effective and accurate tool for first-pass analysis of gold mineralization. The logistical and economic benefits were significant resulting in more holes being targeted into mineralized structures and barren intervals not needing to be submitted for wet assay. Utilizing Detector allows for rapid first pass analysis of gold mineralization in the field, removing the need to wait for wet assays to inform logistical decisions on field programming. Barton Gold will continue to utilize the Detector workflow for exploration programs on all of our projects in the future. Thank you.